Happy Red Friday, everybody. It's Eric with Low VA Rates. Man, one of the one of the top parts of my week is meeting with you guys every Friday, wearing my red, educating you. A lot of the videos we're doing right now are videos that you guys have asked for in the comment section of our YouTube video. Speaking of YouTube, down here to the left, make sure you hit, I, I, actually, it's my left, it's your right, down there on your screen, hit subscribe. Become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and you're gonna know when these videos come out instantly, you're gonna be one of the first ones to get smarter because that's what we're trying to do every Friday, educate you. And somebody asked us, what is risk-based pricing for loans? Okay, risk-based pricing. I thought it was interesting that this was asked and I'm sure a loan officer here at Lovia Rates or one of our competitors said something about risk-based pricing to a veteran and they came to our YouTube channel because it's so full of great information, asked this question and we said, hey, we're gonna do a video on it, so stay tuned. So whoever you were, here it is. Um, because it can have a big impact on your mortgage, understanding what risk-based pricing is and how it works is gonna better prepare you when it's time to do your mortgage. And look, risk-based pricing affects your interest rate and your interest rate affects how much money you're either spending or saving. So listen up. What is risk-based pricing? I'm gonna help try to define it as simple as I can today. Um, and the name itself kind of just kind of defines it for you, but it's basically when you have mortgages or any other loans where there's an interest rate involved, pricing is that interest rate in any associated cost that might come with it. So for example, this is not a rate quote, I don't quote rates, this is informational only, but let's say today you can get a 3% rate. There's gonna be some closing costs potentially with that 3% rate. Maybe there's not gonna be any closing costs, but essentially here in the mortgage world, that's what we're talking about. Your risk-based pricing. Why would one loan get 3%, one loan get three and a quarter, and one loan get two and a quarter? All veterans should be treated equal, right? Well, I agree with you but based on certain risk factors, you might qualify for a higher or lower interest rate. So to put it in somewhat more familiar terms, a lender like low VA rates is going to offer a better interest rate and potentially less closing costs to someone we think is more likely to pay us back. We're gonna give a higher interest rate for someone that we consider a, a credit risk or someone whose credit score or credit profile indicates well, this person or these people have had difficulty in the past making timely payments, okay? So keep listening. How do lenders like low VA rates determine the level of risk that each veteran or each applicant brings to the table? I just kind of gave you a clue. The easiest way, one of the biggest factors is your credit history because that shows whether or not you're paying back your loans on time in the past. If you've got good, clean credit history, better write this up here for those that are pausing or watching the video. We're gonna come back to this word credit in a second. Right now I'm talking about your credit history. If you've got a clean credit history, timely payments, then you're likely also gonna have a higher credit score, right? So the next thing we're gonna look at is your credit score. Your credit history and your credit score, along with some other minor factors, are usually what we're going to look at. You know, if you're delinquent on a car loan, if you've had a, a bankruptcy in the past, doesn't mean you can't get a VA loan, but your risk factor, the, the, the risk that you pose to us is gonna be higher than somebody who's got a clean credit history and a higher credit score. Your credit score and your credit history, if you've got a good credit history, you're normally gonna have a good credit score. And if you have a bad credit history, you're gonna normally have a bad credit score, okay? These are about tandem. These two move in tandem with each other. Um, another important factor is your employment and your income history. You know, we've talked a lot about employment and income in the past. If you're switching employers all the time, that's probably affecting your income. And if your income is being affected, that's probably affecting your credit score. But you might see a risk-based pricing hit you even though your score is decent because we see lots of movement in your employment. So keep that employment as stable and, and, and yeah, as stable as possible, okay? So basically, here's the deal. Risk-based pricing, I'm gonna just wrap it all up right here. Risk-based pricing comes down to veterans with better credit scores and better credit history 
are going to have better, oh, there's two T's, better rates. Man, I cannot spell today. Better rates when you have better credit scores and better credit history, worse rates if you have worse credit scores and worse credit history. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you ever have more questions, I would love for you just to dial us up. You can call us toll free. You can chat with us online. You can ask questions right here in the video. We want to answer your questions when they arise. Don't ever feel like there's a dumb question. This whole video came from somebody asking a question. We'll see you next Friday at the same time.